Hello, my name is Fionn and I am a cello and strings clinician for KP Music Studio. Today we will be learning how to do vibrato, specifically cello vibrato. It's a little bit awkward to jump straight into doing vibrato, so let's start with posture. First, make sure your feet are flat, your back is straight, your shoulders are rolled back, and you're sitting at the very edge of the chair. Put your hand in first position and check your wrist. Your wrist should be completely straight and in line with your elbow, otherwise you might have a chicken wing or it might be tucked in. Chances are if you have either of these, then you might be too tense. Now that we have addressed posture, let's start with first finger vibrato. First finger vibrato is the same as all the other fingers that you do vibrato on, except for pinky finger, but I'll explain that in a second. Take your first finger and put it and press it into the string, and then just hold that note with your bow, just hold that note without any vibrato. What this hopefully will do for you is to separate your hands and kind of calibrate them so you aren't trying to bow change every single time your arm moves. So press your finger in and just play a smooth note. And hold it. And then, once you have that holding nice and smooth, start your vibrato. Now don't move from your, your, no shoulder movements and no wrist movements, it should still be straight. Move from your elbow, your elbow. Like if, if I were to tug on your forearm and you tugged back, that's kind of the motion we're going for here, except gravity is tugging your forearm. So pull up and let it fall, like this. So then smooth note transition to vibrato. Kind of looks like my hand is twisting, but I'm not twisting my hand. I'm just moving from my elbow and pushing, well, and pulling and letting it fall. First finger vibrato is the same for these other fingers, or these other fingers are the same as the first finger. Um, one of the differences, though, is your thumb. Your thumb during first finger vibrato is planted behind your first finger, but when you move to second finger, you move your thumb behind your second finger, and same thing for your third finger. So. I'm picking up my other fingers as I go, because if they stay planted, I don't get the movement that I need. Now pinky finger, is a little bit different because it's the weakest finger on your hand it and the way vibrato moves your pinky finger tends to roll forward when it's on its own so it needs a little bit extra support behind your third and place down your pinky finger still move your thumb but your ring finger plants behind your pinky finger for that extra support Without it, it just kind of looks like this. And that's really hard to do, and it'll kind of hurt if you do that. So use your ring finger for support. That's pretty much it for uh, vibrato on all your fingers. Move your thumb. These three are pretty much the same, and this one needs the extra support with the ring finger. Now to practice vibrato, you can play your scales with vibrato. So vibrato, every note on your scales. This can also help with shifting. So if you play an open note, maybe try to play, try to play A instead of open A. But shifting is a different thing. But try to vibrato every note. Um, to practice vibrato with scales. Another one, another exercise you could do is one that they taught us in school is to try to vibrato to a beat. So if you have a metronome, you can get one on your phone and turn it to 70, maybe 60, maybe even 50. Um, start with quarter notes. One, two, three, four. And then subdivide to eighth notes, one and two and three and four and, and then go to triplets, da 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 
and then two sixteenth notes. Um, sixteenth notes is generally how fast your vibrato should be, um, but it, that depends on the piece you're playing. Um, but that exercise pretty much helps with getting your vibrato under control. As far as putting your vibrato in music, practice it in your scales, and then try implementing your vibrato in your music. Doesn't matter if it sounds good or if it kind of sounds like a engine starting. Blah, 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 blah. Um, it's good to practice that in everything that you play whenever you can uh, to get used to vibrato and to get it feeling natural. Because it takes a very long time. It, it took me a couple years to get it under control and to do it when I want to, not when my hand shakes. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Try those three things. Vibrato your scales, vibrato in your music, start doing that, and try that um, interval exercise. Just turn in metronome on and quarter note, eighth note, triplets, and sixteenth notes, and try that on every finger. I hope these tips helped you. Um, if you need to go back and watch again, I know I talked a lot a little bit, um, then go ahead, but just keep practicing, and I hope you have a blessed day.